Syracuse is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Quick throw. And that one's fallen incomplete. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had them fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Got it, complete, he's out of bounds. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Second down and six. Ball on the 46. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. Did you see how he looked that ball into his hands? That's how you catch a football. passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. Let's go! Complete. He's got room. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Get to that quickly. And they make the stop at about the 23-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Here's the eighth play of the series. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five-wide set. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made at the 15. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. This is the 10th play of this drive. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From the one yard line, second down. Let's go! Fox two! Fox two! And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Here's the 12th play of the drive. He's in trouble. Throws complete touchdown. Takes on the extra point. A 
12 play 75 yard drive and that's good for a touchdown. Yeah, well, you could throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. So the score now 7 nothing. Nice kick plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. throws it away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Four down, four down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh. Ready. Watch one. Watch one. Watch one. 80. Tackle at about the 45. Strike to his receiver, no good. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. He's going right. It's picked off, and it's the sophomore. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit, and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. First and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. California is up seven. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the pass into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. going to try and scramble. He's out to the 30, and he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Around the 41 yard line. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's gonna get his hands on it and make a catch. Gains his way to the 49 yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's level at the 41. This is the eighth play of this drive. Check, check back 11, check back 11. 
after one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Golden Bears lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. California is up a score. They'll bring him down at about the 39-yard line. Two yards. Third down. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tackled right around the 30. Tenth play of the drive. He gets out to about the 17 yard line. The offense coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. He's taken down right around the 20. Nothing doing that time. Defender stayed home, the blocking wasn't there, and down he went. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. He tackles him for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. They've looked good so far on third down in this drive. Let's see what happens here. And they got it. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Fourth and long here after the sack. California up seven points. The kick is away. It's long enough. And he nails the long field goal. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. The game is in danger of getting out of hand early. It's very, very important that they not only hang on to the football this drive, but they also need to get a score on the board as well. That's a great tackle. The 18-yard line. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he's tackled around the 17-yard line. The defense here comes up with a huge interception. They've already got the lead. It looked like this offense was trying to get back in the game. But that was a big turnover. the 17 yard line first down a quarterback in the gun with five receivers they bring him down in the backfield that brings up second and 13. From the 20 yard line. Third down. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. Let's go! Black with the ball! Right. 
And they get the sack. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. It's up, and he just drilled it from long range. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Syracuse coaching staff, I've got to think, going into halftime, and we're getting close right now, Kurt. They've got to do something different. What they had planned with their star running back just not working today. Well, I think the continuity between a coaching staff and a quarterback and an offense is tested. Uh, their, their star players not having a great game, they're losing this football game. I think now as we're close to this half, now is when you start to think about what other ways can we attack this defense. And then maybe eventually we get back to our star running back. But in the meantime, let's try to find some other ways to attack and get a good points on Slings it. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. It's third and 11. Ball on the 24. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. Impressive play by the defense. They're feeling pretty good about themselves right now. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. Not a bad return. Just about ready to call the first play of this drive. They were able to pick up a field goal on their last possession. And they make the stop around the 50-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at midfield. Number two on the tackle at the 50 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. No chance. Five wide. Knocked out of bounds after the catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Steps out of bounds at the 44. Third down again. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. That brings us fourth and 11. The punter is going to try to pin them deep in their own territory with a good punt here.
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. And he hits him hard at the 23. Well, we've played a half of football. Golden Bears with a 13-point lead. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team accomplished one great thing in the first half. They did. They got all of their internet boards a buzzing. They got social media going crazy. They got the let's fire the coach mob out there after them one more time. But I tell you, if they put themselves in a hole and if they don't stop digging, it's going to it's going to end badly for this team. Well, we, we talk about the motivation factor every single week. Now you better get motivated. Now you got no choice. You spotted them a couple touchdowns. You're down by two possessions. Obviously, your attitude has to change. Coach's attitude has to change. You have to be more aggressive. But there's, there's no overlooking this squad now. It's now or never. First possession, third quarter, you either got to get a stop or you got to score some points. It's huge to start the second half. Don't let this lead get out of hand early because then you're going to be looking around going, well, see what happened was. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He really got a hold of that kick. And they can forget about returning this one. California's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Tackle around the 29-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 29. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He goes out of bounds. Right around the 26-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Brought down at the 23-yard line. Number two on the tackle at the 23-yard line. They're about four yards away here on third down. Let's it fly. We're throwing the end zone touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a fourth play, 30-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So the score now, 20 to nothing. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. 
catches it, and that's all. That brings him second and five. Quick throw. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That makes it first and ten. Here we go, Oak. Here we go, Oak. One's the mic. Watch one. Watch one. Hands it off inside. Brought down. That makes it second and ten. And he tackles him hard at the 49. Number five brings him down at the 49 yard line. First down. Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down at the 44 yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That'll make it second and four. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They need about three yards to get the first down. Here on third down. Here we go. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down. And he throws it away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Ready. Wide 80. He heaves it to the end zone. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. This just shows you that you don't need to be sacking the quarterback to disrupt the passing game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Let's go! Gray 95! Gray 95! He steps out at about the 35. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly <laughs> have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right up the line. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He scrambles. They bring him down. Well, we talked all week with these coaches, and even when we met with them yesterday out at practice, they told us there were some big concerns about facing these defensive ends. They thought that they might be able to hold up against him, maybe get the ball out of the pocket a little bit quicker, maybe use running backs and tight ends to help with double teams on the outside. But right now, whatever they thought they might be able to do, they better get back to that drawing board because these defensive ends are just too quick. Going deep, lays it out there. Finds his receiver who's all alone. And down he goes at about the 27 yard line. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Bring 
him down at the 16-yard line. The 10. He makes his way out to about the 6. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. Number three, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. All day, just like that, just like that. Hey, check, check Mike 11, check Mike 11. He's taken down at the nine yard line. Loss of three on the play. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. The kick is up, and it's good. this one and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback if he could start this night all over again I'm sure he would he's made a lot of mistakes up to this point but you know what he's got a track record and and I think I believe personally in watching him that he has the ability to turn this game around and to finally get into his rhythm and get this offense going he hasn't done much to silence the fans but let's see if he can put something together here there's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives that they want to get back in the game. Let's go, let's go. Yo, nine. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Forced to punt it away here. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. That makes it fourth and nine. He makes it out to maybe the 49 yard line. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Wants to throw outside. And he got it to the sophomore. That's a great tackle at the 18-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Golden Bears lead 23-3. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Four down, four down. Watch number five, watch number five. Hey, check, check back, 11. And he's hit immediately. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. He's scrambling. He's tackled at the one. That brings up second and goal. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That makes his third and goal. 
Big play here for both teams. It's third and goal from the two. Hey, watch number five, number five, watch number five. Ready! Green 95! Green 95! Almost picked off. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a pretty tight area he was trying to throw that one into. Kicks up, and he got it. California yet set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Golden Bears have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's under pressure. He wants it all. And he's tackled at about the 43-yard line. They sure have a long way to go in this game, but that was certainly a spark of life. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real drive killers. So the sack makes this a second and long. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Tackle made at about the 31. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. Quick strike to the receiver, and he's level at the 18. That makes it first and 10. Watch one, watch one. Ready! Great play by the safety to keep him out of the end zone. He doesn't get a hand in there. That's going to be six. Nice individual effort there by the safety. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 18. Touchdown, Syracuse! Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And they're looking to get two points here. Mike one, Mike one. Quads, quads, quads. I'm on you, one eight. Ready. <laughs> now he's scrambling. And he's in for two. So with just over three minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, the score is California 26, Syracuse 11. They were really hoping to get the ball back there. Well, now they have to call on their defense to make something happen. They need a big play right here to get that ball back. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. From the 41-yard line, second down, less than three minutes in the game. He makes his way to about the 32.
takes it out to about the 23. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Takes the ball right. They bring him down in the backfield. Two-yard loss for the halfback. Syracuse will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Quick throw. Tackle at about the 13. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedster. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Tackled for a loss. Sometimes a play is not going to work for whatever reason. Doesn't mean you throw the play away. You just need to execute better next time. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Here's the handoff, man. He's taken down for a loss. Syracuse 11. Syracuse 11. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kurt and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.